All right, well then the, with that being said, we will get going. All right. Welcome. Thank you for joining me for yoga today. Uh, I know that it is rainy outside, but it's nice and dry and warm in here. So for our practice, just really try and take um, some centering breaths and maybe whatever may have carried in with you, leave that behind like a little package in the reception area that you need not attend to that's being dutifully watched for you. Let's invite our hands to heart center and just observe that heartbeat against the thumb. And close your eyes and soften your brows along with your jaws. Inhaling and exhaling with ease. Bite your chin to the chest and feel a gentle lengthening behind the neck. And with each breath, take a gentle pause before you exhale. And just as we do in yoga, maybe take twice as much time coming out of that breath as we did coming into it. So we do for asana, take twice as long coming out of posture as we do coming into it. Let's float those fingertips down and overhead gaze follows hands and back to center. And we'll just go through this a few times, whatever pace feels good to you. Inhaling and exhaling with ease. Hands to heart center. Take this moment to set an intention for your practice today, whatever that may be. It could be anything. My intention today will be around paying extra attention to my breath work today for today's practice and less so about advancing any given posture and more so about just experiencing presence in this moment and not rushing to the next breath as I exhale, as we oftentimes do. Let's rest the hands on the knee. Just invite one shoulder to the opposite knee. It doesn't matter which one. And feel that gentle stretch along the upper back. Inhaling and exhaling. And allow the hips to fall open a little bit. Gently work on to the other side. And back to center. Take a few shoulder rolls. Welcome to my present moment. I'm so glad that you're here. If you'd like, there's a bolster at the top of your mat. You're welcome to put that on your mat and take a seat on it. It's more comfortable for you. I like to do so because it elevates the hips and in so doing, puts a little less pressure on the low back. So those couple of minutes I spend to sit upon a bolster or even a rolled up blanket. So, you know, if you're practicing at home, you don't have a, a bolster to just do a little egg roll with the blanket you can accomplish a similar thing. And so from here, let's take whatever leg was on top and set that one on bottom. Let's just switch it. Go back to those nice, easy shoulder rolls. Bring that opposite shoulder to the opposite knee, whichever one it was before. Feel that lengthening through the upper back and shoulders and maybe even through the neck from the base of the neck, working its way up. If you're tight here, you may feel that sensation higher and higher. I just want a gentle lengthening, certainly no pain. So honor your body and where you are. And inviting both hands to the knees. Let's take some rib cage rolls. So that opposite shoulder, the opposite knee, we're going to roll forward. Opposite shoulder, opposite knee, roll back. Hold on to the knees for the support. 
Tuck the chin into the chest. And then just find your own movement pattern here. I like to inhale back and exhale forward, but you can do the opposite if you prefer. The idea behind that is there's a little more room to inhale deeply as you move back than when you come forward, but this is not unlike when we exhale into a forward fold and inhale into a back bend. Same kind of idea. Now you choose what feels good for your practice. Maybe even mix it up. Do something different today than on other days that you do. Let's pause and center. Invite chin to chest. Feel that lengthening up through the neck. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale. Let's continue on. Opposite direction. Whichever way you went for, go the other way now. And just feel your body snake around for these rib cage rolls. And this is a really great one to sneak in for chair yoga. If you do a fair amount of sitting in the day, just make sure if you have a rolly chair, you're secure and you don't go rolling off the chair as you're doing rib cage rolls at the office. We'll do one more that way and then we'll pause in front of us. Uh, where you should find your blocks that I have set, you'd like to take one and rest the edges of your hands on the edge of the block with light fingertips. And just allow your body to hinge forward as we bend into those elbows. Take a nice deep breath, chin to chest, feel it lengthening through the neck. Let's just pay attention to our breath for a quiet pause. Maybe turn your head slowly from side to side, allowing one ear to meet the sky, the other to the ground. And exhale through to the other side. Really intentional in your movement. And back to center. And slowly work your way back up. Let's invite both knees together. And at any time, if you'd like some water, feel free. Hydrate, hydrate. And those feet are forward. The knees are bent. The big toe is to touch. Reach for the hands in front of the shins. And holding on to the shins, let's round the spine, tuck the chin into the chest, and just ease back, ease back, ease back. If you feel nice and supported, maybe you lift one foot, keeping those knees either touching or nearby each other. And switch if you did that. And bring it down. Let's float those heels forward into a staff pose as we slide our hands down our legs. They stop wherever they stop, just not on our knees. Maybe it's your thighs, maybe it's your shins, maybe you're holding on to your toes. Let's keep a softness behind your knees. Let's feel that gentle lengthening through the back of the body. And call this stretching the west, the back side of the body. Let's just be here for a pause with soft knees. Bring our breath. Maybe even find a flatness in the back that allows you to deepen this posture a little more. Bend into the elbows some. You took that, you may feel more sensation in the stretch of the back of the legs. There should be no pain in the low back. 
Inhale and exhale. So since the intention of our posture on this day, which can vary from another day, is to lengthen the back of the legs and stretch the rest, we prefer that we don't hinge all the way forward, then bend the knees if possible. But with that being said, you do what your body needs to do today. Bringing our attention now to the breath as we just hang out in this posture and knowing at any time you can return to comfortable cross legged pose. Let's imagine as though we're opening up heart center, sending those shoulders back and down. Feel our breath inhaling and exhaling. Hinge forward. And maybe you continue to make this little adjustment where this little adjustment is we're guiding forward with heart center and sliding the shoulders down. And each time you might feel a little more sensation than a moment before. And then moving back to our breath pattern. Uh, remembering that that was my intention for the day. Just for this to be a breath centered class for my personal experience. Just allow your body to move as deep as it wants to go. Come back up at any point if you need a break, want to resume. It's our intention to hang out here just long enough where perhaps that lengthening has a chance to become a little more permanent in nature. Like Laffy Taffy that you stretch on a sunny warm day or gum caught on your shoe from the sidewalk. Warming it up, lengthening and holding it. Inhaling, exhaling. Send the shoulders back and down, bend into the elbows as you wish. As you come up, take one leg, doesn't matter which one, invite it to the inner thigh of the opposite leg, or maybe it makes its way to the side of the calf, just not the knee, that's all. few shoulder rolls just to clear out any of that work that we may have done inviting hand to heart center can you feel that breath move through you in that heartbeat inhale and exhale with ease float those fingertips to the sky nice big breath inhale exhale bring it down and again inhaling up Exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down. Now that we're a little warmer, let's take one hand to one leg, doesn't matter which one. Find a lengthening before you go back in a soft twist here. So making space in the spine. That extended leg, maybe flex the foot for a little added stability. Find the twist. Planting behind your shoulder. Only going as far as feels good, listening to the body here. Hand over hand, let's move on over to the other side. Whichever side you didn't already do. the lengthening, grounding the hips into the earth for support, and back to center. Once again, let's bring those big toes to touch and the knees together and sit up nice and tall and reach the hands on the shins. And let's just round the back just to clear out any of the work done there. Chin to chest. Inhale and exhale with ease. With each breath, feel each toe touch the earth. Sweeping from the pinky toes inwards and back again. 
and let's flex the feet and slide our heels forward and come on down once again uh reminding we want a nice flat back and just hinging forward into this maybe you can go a little further than the onset of class finding that hinge at the hip rather than the lower back only going down as far as your body wants to go Maybe your hands are on your thighs or your shins or your feet or your heels, wherever you are today. That's where you are today. Keep a softness in your knees. Belly towards the thighs. Bringing our awareness back to our intention. We'll spend twice as much time exhaling as inhaling. Give it a try if you like. Take a nice deep exhale. Bringing the hands to the shins, flexing the feet, bending the elbows down, hinging at the hips as far as you want to go. Soft knees. Maybe then walking the hands up to the thigh and pressing back up to staff pose. And from here, let's take the opposite foot inside. And maybe it reaches the inside of your thigh or just under it or at your calf, wherever you want to be. You might find that one side is more flexible than the other, and that's totally fine. Hands to heart center. Observe that breath as you breathe slowly. Feel the heartbeat meet the edge of the thumbs. Float those hands up overhead. Feel a lift. Slide the shoulders back. Maybe the arms come alongside the ears. If that progression feels right for you. Exhale, bring the hands down. Gaze, shall follow hands. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time that way. Inhaling up. And exhaling down. Let's take a twist, shall we? Doesn't matter which way. Lengthen the spine on the way back. Flex the heel and feel the lengthening behind the legs. Planting behind you, as far as it feels good to go. On the exhale, move on over to the other side, nice and easy. Ring the body out like a washcloth. Creating space for the new. Inhale and exhale. Let's invite that foot back in, coming back into your comfortable cross-legged pose, sitting up nice and tall. Let's take some shoulder rolls, shall we? Let's just clear that all out. Change the directions, shoulder rolls if you like. Draping the fingertips earthbound, opening up heart center, drop the chin to the chest. Let's take one hand and reach toward the earth and the other overhead, doesn't matter which. Wear a nice yummy side bend. Lengthen through the fingertips, feel that arm open up overhead. And if this causes you any discomfort, you can always switch it up and have the hand be alongside the body rather than overhead. Let's do the same thing other side. Grounding and rooting the hips into the earth. Let's take a nice gentle breath. Exhale back to center. Nice big shoulder rolls. Clear that all out. Drop the chin to the chest. Let's roll the head from side to side, forward, never back. One side. 
but let's do it milky slow. Returning to our attention of a breath-centered class. Can you have the inhalation and exhalation drive the movement of these forward neck rolls? And as you do so, nice and slow, can you feel the sensation of all the little muscular structures supporting that head upright all day? Breathing into these areas, carrying any nurturing that may be needed. And as you exhale, carry away anything that's no longer serving these areas, escorting them out of the body. Inhale and exhale. Allow the head to find one shoulder. Sit up nice and tall, supporting the low back. And if you like, drop a fingertip on top of the head. And maybe you can do a little more than that, though. We're not looking to pull or press the head or neck. We're just adding a bit of weight to contact. Feel that sensation along the side of the neck, stretching out as you do. Feel your breath. Soften your fingertips and jaw and toes. Plenty of time to exhale. Let's float on over to the other side. Once again, feel free to rest the fingertip on the head if that feels good for you. Feel that sensation on the other side. Oftentimes we don't even realize how much tension we're carrying until we stop for a moment in order to release it. And if I the chin and back to chest. This time let's round the spine and anchor ourselves with our shins or our knees. And let's see how far we can get the spine away from those knees. Rounding the spine, taking a soft, easy breath. And this time, let's come back to a seated and take the leg on top, send it on bottom and come forward reaching for our block once again. And you have two blocks there, you can use two blocks or no blocks, it's up to you. And what we're gonna try and do is just inch and scooch the blocks just enough that we have enough space to hinge forward. Feeling that lengthening as we ground our hips into the earth, feel the sits bones support you in a bolster or blanket or floor beneath. And just gently guide your body down. It doesn't matter how far you go. Let's take two breaths here. Inhale and exhale with ease. Breath centered class. And slowly walk your way back up. Bring your block with you. Reach for the other if you've got it. It's a great time for water if you like. And do the same thing as what we just did, but we'll do this with our legs outstretched. I like to protect the knees by putting the blocks under my thighs, and this might work for you and this might not. So you decide, but make sure this low back is nice and lengthened and it's not compressed or rounded. So let's take a few shoulder rolls and just work this out. Flex the feet to gain some intention and movement. Change your shoulder rolls. Notice how we adapt to changing the postures and structures in our life. Dropping our fingertips towards the earth and our gaze towards the hand, flexing the feet nice and strong. Inhale up. 
hands to heart center down. Continue on two or three more with your breath driving the movement. One more for me. Hands on heart center. Invite the hands to the thighs and slowly begin to walk them down. However far down you go, you go. If your hips are elevated, you may find that it's more accessible to reach those feet. And in so doing, stretch the west as we have set out to do. Inch and scooch your way into a lengthening, but no pressure on the low back, particularly if you have any disc things happening. Where's your body want to go? Just explore this. Pick a foot, bring both hands to it. Breathe into the space. Maybe even square the shoulders up and settle in. If there's any discomfort, maybe the hands come to the floor, or the shin or the thigh even. Whatever works for you. Hand over hand, let's walk to the opposite foot. It's the first one you chose. Hand over hand, let's come to center now. And this time, point the toes. Notice the difference. Now we're moving away from stretching the west and stretching the front of the body, coming on the other side of the mountain. Open up the fingertips nice and wide. Stretch out the hands. Feel the lengthening through the forearms as you do and breathe into this space. Point the toes, point the toes. Stretch the tops of those feet nice and yummy. Hinging at the hips rather than the low back. Feel your breath. Slowly begin to ragdoll up. Invite one foot and then the next. Create a little diamond in front of you as the soles of the feet meet. And maybe you continue to use the blocks. Maybe you put them on their tall end or on their side end or on their flat end using them support. I have these little egg-shaped blocks that are a little bit more friendly to this one than the square one. I think they're called the one minute egg and they're purple. Let's take a nice deep breath. Sit nice and tall, ground the hips into the earth. Invite one hand to heart center, whichever one you're called to do the other hand to the top of the head and feel this connection. And we're going to imagine as though we're bouncing energy between these two places within our body with the breath as we inhale and exhale. Just imagine this in your mind's eye, whatever way you see this. Feel the sensation move from heart center as it goes up, shoulders, neck, jaw, face, ears, brows, forehead, crown, meeting the palm of the hand, setting upon the crown. and send it back down the way you came. This breath, centered breaths. Inhale and exhale with ease. Inviting both hands to heart center now. Slowly invite the chin to the chest.
Returning the attention to the breath as we inhale and exhale with ease. Float one ear to one shoulder and feel the lengthening, keeping the hips grounded into the earth. The low back lengthens the support. Gently work your way over to the other side. And back to center. This time, slip whichever hand is on top to heart center and the opposite hand on the crown of the head. So we had a moment to go. Take a moment to ground the hips into the earth. The sits bones there. Allow the knees to fall open. Opening up the hips. Find a shot of softness through the shoulders. Maybe adjust the hand on heart center to be a little more nurturing than it might have otherwise been. The other hand on the crown, a little more nurturing than it otherwise would have been. And keep this in mind for yourself and others in life. Imagine as though you're lining up the toes to touch, big toe, big toe, big toe, pinky toe, and so on. Let's breathe here, inhaling into heart center. Send that breath to crown chakra. Once again, inhaling. Exhaling. One more that way, inhaling. Exhaling. Taking the hand away from the heart, let's stack one on top of the other on crown chakra. And we're not pressing down the neck, we're slowly, gently hovering just above the hairline. So you can feel the palms, but there's a little space between your head and your palms. Just not to put any pressure on the neck. Just rest here, be here, let's breathe. Inhaling, exhaling, two more that way, inhale. Send the breath all the way down to the base, the root chakra, and as I exhale, make it way up the spine, all the way through, up, 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 to the crown chakra, exhale, two more that way. Twitch whatever hand was on top of the other. This time, let's bring the breath to the base of the spine and imagine just kind of swirling about root chakra, knowing that you are safe and cared for and loved. You have all that you need in the world, which is what the root chakra is about. We'll take a breath or two here. I know your arms may be getting tired, so our next sequence is going to release them, but you can always put them down sooner if you like. Take a nice deep breath, inhale. And on this exhale, exhale through the base, moving up the spine through the sacral chakra, feeling the creative there, the solar plexus, your sense of well being, scooch up higher heart chakra being open to love and receive and give. Moving it up a little higher, throat chakra, say what needs to be sent to the universe, even if you do so silently, get it off your chest. Move it up higher, higher in between the brows. Allow yourself to see what's meant to be seen here. Exhale. 
This time, nice deep breath, inhaling. Bring that breath, that breath back to the base and exhale, shoot it up your spine, all the way up to crown chakra as we slowly lift the hands out of the way and release ourselves of anything that we are ready to free ourselves from with the breath. Inhale and exhale. Drop an ear to a shoulder. Roll the head forward to the other shoulder. And just move with your breath with a lengthen low back, grounding and centering the sits bones into the earth. Feel your breath here. Move with these. Pick a side, bring a hand to the earth and the other one overhead or on the hips if that feels better for you, whatever you like. Giving a soft elbow and the standing arm. Take a deep breath. Rainbow to the opposite side of where you were. And back to center once again. Okay, so we're gonna move a little bit. We're gonna step nice and tall back into our staff pose. Take a few shoulder rolls just to clear that workout that we've done. We change directions, those shoulder rolls. And we're going to build a little ramp. So the way you'll do that is and you'll, you'll build it on the back of your mat. Is you'll take one block and you'll put it on its tall end and the next block and you'll put it on its side and just butt them up next to each other. And make sure that you have nice sturdy four inch blocks or better. We wouldn't want like um, thinner blocks for this because we want to add a little bit of support and then we'll take our bolster and we'll build a little ramp here this is a little nugget i picked up in prenatal yoga and I, i'll tell you i'm not giving it up since i love it <laughs> so we will take a blanket i will give you one and it's going to roll up and go under your knees so that's where we're headed we're going to get our water Feel free to get that. All right. Just take a few easy breaths. Roll these up for you to go under the knees. Here you are. Somewhere along the way, I've decided that the yoga blanket is the most supreme prop we have. Now I find that I'm most comfortable and supported when I've got my hips right on the edge of the bolster. And if you get chilly, feel free to put your sweater on or anything of the like. All right, it's pretty warm in here, but still from moving to not moving. So as we invite the knees, on top of the blanket, or even bring the blanket up a little higher, whatever feels best for you. Scooching right to the edge of the bolster there, we're slowly roll the spine down. All right, here we are. Allow the shoulders to just fall open. If you don't have a bolster, this could be done with like a large furniture pillow or even really big afghan blanket maybe something a little sturdier let's just find the presence for a moment and quiet the chatter listen to the sound of your breath moving in and out through the body Allow the hands to fall to the earth. Bringing all your awareness to the breath. Inhale and exhale.
If frowning is what you need, I invite you to bring your palms face down to the earth. If there's something that you'd like to have come your way and receiving is what brings you here today, have your palms face the sky, the backs of the hands to the earth, still grounded and supported. Feel that gentle breath move through you as you inhale through the nose and exhale. Repeating this process a few times. Soften the forehead, the ears, the space just in front of the ears where we oftentimes clench the jaw releasing through the jaw. Chest and shoulders and belly, hips and thighs. Sending love and kindness to the knees and the shins and the ankles and the tops of the feet and each of the 10 toes. From the pinky toes, the deal of the side, the midsole of the side, the midsole of the side, to the big toe. Sending so much loving kindness to your big toe. Take a nice deep breath. And with the exhale, hop that energy on over to the other big toe. Exhale here. Enveloping yourself in loving kindness, feeling the breath. Move that energy to the toe beside, to the toe beside, to the toe beside into the pinky toe. Sending all that loving energy to the pinky toe. Feel that breath move. Work its way to the insteps of the feet, the ankles. Working its way up the calves and the back of the knees and the front of the knees and the sides. Spending a little extra time, a few deep breaths headed towards the back of the thighs. A little extra nurturing, loving kindness for the work we did today on stretching the west. Stretching, lengthening, breathe into the space. And exhale, send that exhale out of the body through the soles of the feet. Inhale and exhale. Nice deep breath moves its way from the soles of the feet, inhales there up through the legs. Passing the knees and the thighs and settling the hips. Coming to the base through chakra. You are safe and have all that you need. Deep breath. If you enjoy mudras, feel free to take one. I like my forefinger to my thumb. Feel that energy as you create this connection, circle through. Inhale and exhale, just be in this space. Feel the chest and the belly rise and fall with each deep breath.
Inhale and exhale. Wiggle the toes, clear out any tension that you may have left behind there. Take a nice deep breath. Let's move this breath up. We're gonna carry through the chakras here, starting at root chakra, working our way up from red in color to orange, sacral chakra just above our most creative selves here. Clearing out this energy. If you feel stuck, clear out this energy. Nice deep breath. On the inhale, let's move that energy to just behind the navel, solar plexus. Really harness and hold and experience our emotions. Allow yourself to be freed of any stress or tension that you may have. Allow the chest to rise and fall. Move that breath up, heart center. Green glows of love swirl about the heart this way and that. Keeping that mudra connected if you chose to take it early on or choose to take it now if you wish. Opening up that heart center. So often we give love so freely, but perhaps don't allow us to receive as much as we could. Breathe some energy into this space. Press that breath down, back to solar plexus. Feel its yellow sunshine warm glow. Inhaling back up to heart center. And back down again. Just playing around with this energy from heart to belly, from belly to heart and back again. 